Hi, everybody. Craig Shacklett, CEO of You Are Compt here. And I am with uh, two people I'm so excited to talk to because I saw this game, Knockout 52, at the Global Table Games Conference where they won Game of the Year. I've got Frank Magnolo, a.k.a. Frankie Muggs, and Peter Mastroianni, again, co-inventors of Knockout 52. Gentlemen, thank you both so much for being here. Thank you, Craig. Thank, thank you, you very much. Well, uh, first of all, I want to give a shout out to one of our sponsors, Rio Las Vegas, one of the newest UR comp partners. So thank you, Rio. Now let's get into uh, getting into the show. So uh, why don't just briefly, because that's the beauty of this game is it's pretty easy to explain, especially once you see it. So maybe you can walk us through what is Knockout 52. Yeah, happy to explain it. So the way it works is this. Uh, it's very simple, and that's why people really take to it. There's a deck of 52 cards. Of course, and those are dealt into four horizontal rows, ace to king. So there are spaces for the cards, ace, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to king. And if it goes through the first time and it matches, that's a round one knockout. So imagine we deal ace, two, three, four, and it's a four, that's a knockout in round one. If it gets all the way through round one, it goes to round two, round three, round four. If it gets all the way through the deck, that's called it all the way, and that pays 50 to one. And it is uh, so simple. I know if if, he, if you're listening to the podcast, you're not seeing it, but on the uh, on the clips, if you're watching this, you'll see how the game lays out. And it's one of those games where you can walk up and it and see it right away. And you know, not to put other games down because I, I love entrepreneurs. I so respect the creativity that goes into it. But some of these games, it's gonna you know, it's tough because you're sitting there. I right, explain the game, and like three minutes in, you're getting dizzy. Like, wait, hold on, is this? Or it's a red. You got to pull out a seven. But with your game, it's like right away. You get it and i could see how this would be a hit on the casino floor for people that um you know don't want to take a lot of time to learn a new game because it kind of feels a little bit like roulette in some ways um but there's a communal aspect where like you can imagine like multiple people at the table cheering on like all right yeah round two knockout so um beautiful game let me uh real quickly richard marcus who put on the global table games protection conference he he had a, a beautiful testimonial. It's for the first time in table games history, a non-variant new casino game has won the 2024 Best New Table Games Contest at the Sahara Las Vegas Casino. So every year since 2016, it's been a variant. And why don't uh, just real quickly explain what that means for people that maybe don't understand the difference between a new table game and a variant. All right, Craig, uh, we could do that, no problem. Most games, uh, it either is a... Uh, knock off a blackjack, they put a side bet on blackjack or a side bet on baccarat or anything else. Our game is totally unique, okay? It's uh, a brand new one, and, we're, and as Peter just explained how it's dealt, it's so player-friendly, casino-friendly. You know, the casinos really liked it, and you were at the show, so you see the response that we had, it was, was fantastic because from the casino's aspect, right? You get a new dealer on the floor. You put them on, put them on blackjack. You want to put put them on this game because they have to deal ace through king. That's it. You know, so it's very easy from the casino as far as training the people. The dealers are going to like it, and uh, um, it's just um, and like like you said, the players will be mesmerized by this game. They'll be starting, and it, like you said, when you see the felt, you could see what I'm talking about. But uh, it's it's a very unique game, and we had a lot of positive responses you've seen at the show, and uh, so I mean, we're just. Uh, and we're, we're, in, we're in about five states already, just from that show. Wow. Well, first of all, congratulations. Second, because I've got a lot of questions, both about Knockout 52 specifically, and then how about this whole world of inventing new games and the process of getting it onto the floor? So maybe, um, why don't we start uh, with your backgrounds? Is this the very first game you've invented, or is this something that you've been in um, doing for a while? Uh, well... I met Peter at the, the previous show. I've had I have two other games that have been on the casino floor for a couple of years. One's Muggsy's Corner, it's a, a crap crap bet, and one's uh, Two G's Roulette. But at the show, me and Peter met, and he had a game called Match Fifty Two. And so, um, and we, we just getting to know each other, really to know him. And uh, so him and his brother were there, and I'm looking at the game. What do you think, Frank? I said, Listen, I got to talk to you after the show, you know. And so after the show, we get together. I said, Peter, your game is good, more for video. I go, we've been playing this game in Chicago a little different way. I think if we get together and we combine our efforts, we can make this game happen. This is, we're in the blackjack uh, 
area by the Sahara. He went over it, one, two, three, we come up with the name Knockout, figured out how we're going to do it, and for the last year, we've been smoothing it over, but that's how it happened. We just, we met there, and you got a New York guy and a Chicago guy. So Chicago and New York, Craig, who's going to stop us, right? <laughs> that's right, the two families coming together. This is, so, so you come up with a, all right, you got a game, okay, I got the rules, then obviously you need to, I would assume there's some kind of things you need to do to protect your game so somebody can't see it and be like, oh, that's a great idea. I'm going to go market it. So what's the next step after you got a great concept that you want to take to market? Sure. Look, it's, of course, patent, trademark, copyright with the right attorneys, um, essential before you disclose anything to the world. Uh, like a lot of great inventions, yeah, the, the knock-offs of knockout could be plenty. Um, so yeah, we made sure to protect everything first. And uh, then we revealed this to the world at the Global Table Games Conference. So was that the first time it was revealed this past or a couple of weeks ago at the Sahara at the this year's Global Table Games Conference? Yes. Yeah. The first time it was shown to the public, to the industry, and uh, the response was fantastic. We won by a landslide. It was really fortunate uh, for us. And we have five casino placements, excuse me, five states and casinos in, in those states um, already that want the game and plenty more behind it. Um, it's, we've, we've been very fortunate. So you've got it protected. You've got the, you know, the, the patent locked up so nobody can steal the idea. And then a, a casino in whatever state raised their hand. And I'm not sure if you can disclose what states they are um, yet, but they say, bring it here. Are What's the next steps are, that you have to do? Here's the next step, Craig. And we could reveal the, uh, we're in, we in Illinois. Well, first we're gonna, we won, we won the contest at uh, Richard's uh, conference. So the pr first prize was to be uh, placed at the Strat in Las Vegas. We'll be on the Las Vegas Strip, okay? And that's coming soon. And what you have to do in all the states, it doesn't matter. You have to go to each gaming state gaming control board, present the same game. You know, you figure that since it's going to be approved in Nevada, it'll be everyone say, okay, Nevada, that's that's the big leagues, right? But you still have to go every state, and I understand why they have, they have their procedures. So we're going to be in Illinois soon. Well, Vegas first, then Illinois, Michigan, Wisconsin, and uh, we're working on uh, Connecticut. So, and that's just from the show. And it's it's going to be word of mouth because the way it goes, people always want the next best thing. And we believe this is the next best thing. And so as we sponsor the show, it's the same thing. And because we'll go into that later, the ease of play and stuff. But it's, it's been really good. But each state you have to go through and uh, file for each state. Usually you need a, a, a casino to sponsor and say, yeah, I, I want this game. So that's where we're at now. We're in the process of getting that done. It's something unique is the cruise ships um, apparently don't necessarily have to go through the states because they're in international waters. So any of your um, clients and customers that are interested in having yeah, us on right. a cruise ship, please just let the cruise director know and uh, they can put us on right away. Put us on now. Let's and go, then, Craig. Come on. Hey. The, importantly, the math has to be certified. So that's one of the things that we send to the yes. state is that there's a BMM report. It's right on our website and it shows the casino what the house edge is and the, that the meth has to be certified by a company that is um, recognized by each state. So that's, we have that certified, we send it into the state and when they approve it, great. But yeah, for the casino uh, cruise ships, certainly um, they can just, they can look at the math and make a decision themselves and we'll be happy to work with them. Yeah, Wonderful. you know, Craig, we, we had to get the, the math done by, you always have to do that. Otherwise you got to believe Frank Muggs and Peter Mastro from New York. So I think the, <laughs> the casino is going to want the report. <laughs> Well, it, yeah, and that was something I was curious about because the the way the game is laid out, the odds are um, more lucrative the if you bet further down the line, right? Second round pays better than first round and third round pays better. And if you bet on it going all the way, it's I think it's 50, 50 to 1. So um, is that all part of the same process? You give it to a mathematician, you say, hey, what should the odds be? And can you certify this? Let me talk through that for me. Yeah, what we have to do, you get a mathematician first. First, I'm a CPA, peers of lawyer. We're pretty good with numbers. It's a pretty easy game. So we, we we had it figured out, but you still have to go to a mathematician. Then the mathematician, we give those numbers, and they give it to the BMM. Okay, that's the test lab. Then the BMM tests it out, and they write the report. And then we give that report to the states. So there's a procedure to go through uh, to make sure the number's right. And we did it. To, this game could be played with single deck, double, four decks, six decks, eight decks, continuous doesn't matter can't be card counted this is the beauty of the game it's just so simple uh just put it on and uh players make money and the uh, casino makes money was this uh 
Like maybe you can walk me through going back again to knockout 52 specifically. Was it something like, like how, how did the idea come to be? Were you playing something similar and you're like, wait, wait, what if I change this? Or, or like, how, how did it click where it's like, you know what? I want to get this in casinos. And, well, the initial game that I had match 52, um, as Frank was saying, is similar to a game that he played in Chicago. It's going through a deck and trying not to match, let's say, the cards. So you just turn over a deck of cards and say, ace, two, three, four. And if it matches, you stop. So that's the um, orig the origin of the game entirely. The game that I created was way too complicated. So my for good fortune was meeting Frank and having him explain to me that table games need to be simple. People need to understand them in 30 seconds or less. It needs to be intuitive, especially a new game. So as, as Frank and I discussed it, we decided to create something that was intuitive and fortunately um everyone seems to really like it yeah you know what happened craig he, he he was playing the game with his family his way i have statistics with i had this in 19, 2005 i had all the stats and stuff a little different than he did so i said and i showed him the stats after we got together i go let's get together because we're it's so similar but we just had to smooth it out and, and that's what we did because the statistics i had were exactly what the bmm came up with and so me and Peter sat there uh, and said, let's do this, this, and this, tweaked it here and there. And we had both of our games combined. And so so you de debuted at the show. Obviously, a lot of people were interested. You got the game of the year. It's going in the Strat. When, do you know when it's going to be live in this at the, the Strat? Well, I just talked to uh, a gaming board yesterday. They have all the materials. So like I said, I have five other games approved in Nevada. So it should go quick. Um, I'm a CPA. They know me. Peter's a lawyer. So it's up to the gaming commission. And usually Nevada is pretty good. And they they do a, do a good job. So hopefully month, maybe, maybe sooner. But uh, we'll let you know. <laughs> you can tell you. Please do. Hey, yeah. you know, the Strat is another UR comp partner casino. So oh. folks, if you're watching, you want to play it. You got to let us know when it goes live and we'll uh, we'll put an offer up. You come there too, Craig. Please. We can make it. I love it. I love yeah. the Strat. I want to try that new Atomic Golf they got and then knock out 52. <laughs> Uh, okay, so then, so you invent a game. What are the like economics, right? How how does the how do you all make money once you get a a game on a casino floor? It's a, a licensing model, correct? So um, per table per month, the casino pays uh, the inventors, um, and it depends on how popular the game is and if it's a new game, what the what that might uh, command as far as uh, return. Is it generally like they commit to? A certain length of time like all right we'll we'll send out the the felts and things like that and then you're paying for a year and you can renew it at the end of the year um yep yeah, they, they um would contract with us it's based on their contracts you know these are big casinos so they have their standard contract that we'll have to sign and it pretty much will say it's a lot like a supermarket if the the item is going off the shelves they'll keep it on the shelves if it's not then they won't so um and hopefully what we expect is that folks will fill the table and they'll want another table or two um because they'll be they'll be so popular a lot of people that go into the casino and they're intimidated by the crap table because they just they just are they don't want to go to the blackjack table because you hit in the wrong card all of a sudden well you hit on now you took my card and so this is for someone like you mentioned earlier who likes roulette okay but this is faster and better for the player than roulette because roulette you got to spin the ball goes around there. this is one two three four boom knockout i mean this is this is this is quick so it's, it's for that type of player just to have a good time with your friends you're gambling Eventually, this is going. This is perfect for a video. That's for another time, because. Uh, but that's what it really is. It's a game for just the average player who likes playing videos. They're going to like playing this game. They're going to like playing this game. Are there any games? What are, What are some examples? Because you mentioned, or Richard mentioned, that uh, you know it's the first time and ever or in a long time that a brand new game has won this award. Um, when I think about the cruise ship, we talked about. You know, they've got Ultimate Texas Hold'em, Caribbean Stud. There's a few games that seem to me like they were invented and came along. Are there any games that you look at as like, man, I, like I love their story. I hope Knockout 52 can replicate what Caribbean Stud did. Or do you have any games that you look at as like, oh, we would love to follow that path? I don't think we did. We just came up with this between. I mean, well, I'm not we saying were, that we were we were looking at trying. Game. Yeah, I just mean like the spread of it, where you know, a game was invented. Like you guys invented a totally new game and it it took off like are there examples of that that many people can hear and, and relate to like oh yeah i remember i never saw ultimate tech sold them until a few years ago now it's in a lot of places 
Yeah, precisely. Caribbean Stud and, and uh, Texas Hold'em and others all were inventions that became very popular. And that's our goal for this is to become as popular, certainly as, as Texas Hold'em and the others. It would be th terrific. And we really do think we have a shot when you see the reaction of folks that play it and yourself included, Craig, and thank you. Um, it's really the first social casino game. It's the first, you know, roulette is sort of social, but more often than not, no one wins. In our game, there are six players and five bets. So it's very likely that someone at the table is going to win. And when you see someone win, you get excited. I do. I don't mind if the guy next to me at roulette wins. I just want someone to win. Um, so I think what you'll see is the people shouting the card numbers, ace, two, three, four, and being excited for each other to win. And it, I think it'll change the nature of the casino from, it, it's got the excitement of craps. That's what we like to say. When craps gets exciting at those moments, Knockout 52 has that every time, every single deal. We've got a lot of UR comp customers that are, are going to see this. They're going to want to play this game because I know I played it again. I loved it. I had a lot of fun. What should, if somebody's watching this and they want to try to get it into their casino, what's something that, you know, a gambler can do to try to uh, get this game in their casino? Well, I think one thing they could say is I saw this on Craig's podcast and it's going into Strat. In Vegas, it's going to Paradise in Illinois. It's going to Pottawatomie in Wisconsin, going to Firekeepers in Michigan, and in other casinos that we're working on. There's a few other ones. So if you're around that area, why don't you have this game on, Knockout 52? And word of mouth through the casinos, too. What's the casinos? A lot of a lot of casinos, got about 10 other casinos are just waiting. They said, Frank, when's, it, when's Nevada going to approve it? So since when they approve it, then they just come in. You know, they just uh, they don't have to go through the field trial process because the Strat is doing that. And thank, thanks to the Strat. But uh, um, thanks to Richard for having the contest for the Strat. But uh, and uh, so it, actually there was two prizes at Richard's conference. One was first be at the Strat on the Strip. Second prize was uh, Firekeepers in Michigan. And they're putting it on, too. So, I mean, they, they, they have they committed to the other game, too. But they're putting our game on, too, So because they were there and they saw it. So how to get people? Come on, Craig, help us out. Whatever you can ask. We appreciate we appreciate what you're doing right now. Thank you. Thank you. No, no, I love it. I mean, I, again, I, you know, we uh, there's time where you are a comp was banging down doors trying to get in and find people to work with us. So um, I just I love the journey. I love what you guys are doing. And so okay, and then you know another question. You touched on something earlier, and I think it's important uh, for a lot of people. Maybe many people don't really think about it, but like the dealer ramping up a dealer because I watch craps and I'm like, I, how does a dealer keep track of all this? <laughs> right. Those they're are good dealers. dealers right? they play yeah. They're incredible dealers. And then, and I think what you mentioned earlier is that knockout 52 is a, a good game for an inexperienced dealer. Somebody to, to bring up and maybe you could explain like, why is that valuable or important to a casino? One of the things that's important is establishing a connection with the players. And with, if the dealer is focused on counting and making sure that they're giving the payouts right and making sure that they're doing the wins right, it's hard for them to interact. So with Knockout 52, as Frank said, ace, two, three, four, you're just going through ace to king four times. It's, you don't focus too much on what you're doing physically. You're able to communicate and talk and really show your personality. And that's a really important part of table games is to connect with the players and make them feel excited, make them feel special, and really just to connect. Otherwise, they might as well just go play a slot machine. So one of the things that Knockout 52 offers is that personal connection for a new dealer, especially, as Frank was saying, and certainly a seasoned dealer would have no problem with it and really can then interact and have that fun with the players that keeps them coming back for more. So everybody that's watching this, you got to get Knockout 52 in your casino. If you're a player, bang down every door you can at the casino, <laughs> tell them you want to play this game. Now, if a casino executive is watching this, says, you know, I want to learn more about Knockout 52 and talk to you guys, how what's the best way for them to get a hold of you? You can reach us through the website, um, or otherwise we're on LinkedIn, both Frank and I. Um, and then we'll have our email and contact information, uh, hopefully with this posted. Perfect. And the website is what? Knockout52.com. Knockout52.com. All right, folks, you heard it here first. Well, unless you're at the Global Table Games Conference and you heard it there. But this, for a lot of you, is probably the first time. So I want you to you know, bookmark this, because when this is in every casino around the country, I want you to remember uh, remember this interview. So. Um, Peter, Frank, thank you so much. This is a ton of fun. Congratulations. Godspeed. I look forward to seeing you guys spread uh, like wildfire. Thanks, Greg. We're looking for our first thousand knockouts. Come on, come on Craig. <laughs> Let's go. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for thank spreading the word. All the best to you out there. Yeah. Take care.